Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva, and today I'm going to talk about a topic that often appears in UGC NET English exam, and that is Gothic literature. I'll also be talking about some previous year questions that come from this particular topic every year. So make sure you stick around till the very end of this video. Now, in today's video, we'll be talking about three prominent Gothic writers. But before that, let us quickly look at what is Gothic writing in general. Now, Gothic writers are the ones who love to write spooky stories filled with ghosts, dark castles, and strange events. These writers create stories that mix horror and mystery together, making you feel a little scared but also hooked at the same time. Uh, do you remember the super scary Bollywood movie Raj, which had Vipasa Basu in it? That's Gothic writing for you. In the recent times, there are movies like Tumbad, which is also a very fine example of Gothic writing. And then we have movies like Three Two, Bulbulaya Three, which has recently been released. All of these they fall under the category of Gothic. But 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 this kind of writing, like Three Two and Bulbulaya Three, this is also known as Gothic comedy because they are mixing Gothic and comedy together. Okay, now, so let us start with the first writer who is Mary Shelley, a name that every Gothic fiction lover would know. She was a British novelist and a Gothic fiction writer. And she's best known for her novel Frankenstein, which I'm sure you must have heard. Uh, but what you might not know is that she wrote the novel Frankenstein when she was just 19 years old. That is pretty impressive, right? Now, Mary Shelley was born in a very interesting family. Her father, William Godwin, was a political philosopher. And her mother, Mary Wollstonecraft, I'm sure you would have heard about her. She was the famous feminist. And then she married Phoebe Shelley. So you can imagine how creative her environment must have been. Now, in all her works, Mary Shelley, she explores themes like creation, loneliness, and consequences of science. And you will be surprised to know how those themes that she touched upon 300 years ago are still relevant today. Now, let me tell you one interesting rumor about her. After her husband, P.B. Shelley, died in a shipwreck, his body was cremated. But Mary Shelley kept the heart, that body organ heart that pumps blood, the pure body organ she kept uh, with herself. Uh, and you might wonder how did she keep that heart when the body was cremated? Because heart did not completely burn when uh, the body was cremated. So she wrapped that heart in a silk cloth and kept it with her for the rest of her life. And it's a very strange gothic detail about her life, which also shows how much love she must have carried for uh, her husband. Okay. Now, before we move on and talk about the list of works that she has written, I would just want to pass on an important information that I've created a special PDF that summarizes this entire video and provides you exam ready notes. So you just have to drop uh, a message on the WhatsApp number that is there on your screen or you can click the WhatsApp link that is there in the description box and we'll send you that handy PDF right uh, on your phone. Okay, now let us look at some important work. So when we look at the chronological list of works that has been written by Mary Shelley. The first one uh, is Frankenstein, of course, and then we have a long list. And the last one is Falconer. So the works you can see on your screen. Now, out of these six works that she has written, the most important one is Frankenstein and Falconer. Let us discuss Frankenstein in a little detail in this video. So Frankenstein, for those of you who know, is about a scientist named Victor Frankenstein who created a living being by putting together parts of dead bodies. However, once that creature came to life, Victor was horrified and he abandoned that creature. Now, that creature, who is rejected by everybody, became very lonely and very angry. And he decided to take revenge on Victor. Why? Because Victor created him and then left him alone. So, the story talks about themes like dangers of unchecked ambition, and then also talks about how it is important for somebody to take responsibility of his own action. And then the most prominent one is loneliness. Nowadays also, if you look at Bollywood, you will see that there are so many movies that are uh, made which talks about the dark reality of robotics and AI. Like we have Ravan, then we have Teri Bato Mein Se Ulja Jia, the one which was recently uh, released. Uh, it had... Um, Shahid Kapoor and Kriti Sanan. 
सो ये जितनी भी मूवीज आप देखेंगे ऑल ऑफ दीज मूवीज दे काइंड ऑफ टॉक अबाउट द सेम आइडिया दैट समबडी क्रिएटेड अ रोबोट विच लेटर स्टार्ट डिस्ट्रक्टिंग द इंटायर वर्ल्ड ओके एंड इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल इट सेम चीज मैरी शैली ने थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स पहले बात करिए जब ना तो कंप्यूटर्स थे ना ही ए आई था ना ही इंटरनेट था एंड स्टिल शी कुड कंसीव एन आइडिया वेर अ ह्यूमन बींग इज क्रिएटिंग अनदर क्रीचर हु इज लेटर डिस्ट्रक्टिंग द इंटायर वर्ल्ड ओके सो इट इज वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी आई एम आई एम एक्सट्रीमली गोइंग टू रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच अ मूवी और एटलीस्ट रीड द बुक and uh, there are so many other plots like these which you have to read for ugc net exam uh, because all these important novels plays and poems are constantly asked in ugc net exam so if you want animated videos of such stories wherein you can understand the plot in 10 12 minutes then you can consider enrolling in our online course for ugc net english wherein we provide animated videos for all these plays poems and novels so we have about 500 uh, plays novels and poems uh, jinko humne animated form mein aapko samjhaya hai and short videos ke through samjhaya hai taki aapke liye bahut aasan ho jaye un cheezon ko yaad rakh ke use exam mein uh, uske question solve karna so for more details you can check out the description box so next up is horace walpole the man who basically kick started the entire gothic fiction genre He was born in 1770, and he wasn't just a writer; he was also a politician. But what he is really remembered for is his novel, *The Castle of Otranto*, which was published in 1764. And this book is often called as the first true Gothic novel. It is packed with spooky castles, supernatural events, and a very dark, mysterious atmosphere. We are going to dive into the plot a little uh, more uh, in the next section, but. Uh, for now, just remember that the most important work of Horace Walpole is *Castle of Otranto*. Now, Walpole's work set the stage for all the other Gothic writers like Mary Shelley and Edgar Allan Poe. What you might not be aware of that he is the one who coined the term *serendipity*, uh, and he used it in a letter to describe uh, making discoveries by accident. So, when you make discoveries by accident, क्या चाहना से आप कुछ कर रहे हो और आपसे कुछ discover हो गया कोई नई चीज क्रिएट कर दी दैट इज नोन एज सरेंडिटी नाउ इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड दैट वी जनरली यूज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हैप्पी एंड एक्सपेक्टेड फाइंडिंग्स बट ऑल ऑफ दिस वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई हिम अगर किसी को सरेंडिटी का मतलब नहीं पता चल रहा है तो यू कैन रिलेटेड टू द वर्ड यूरेका कि यूरेका मीन्स कि अचानक से कुछ डिस्कवर हुआ है सरेंडिटी मीन्स बहुत अनएक्सपेक्टेड डिस्कवरी है क्या कर नहीं रहते उसे डिस्कवर हुआ तो अचानक से खुद ब खुद आपने कैसे डिस्कवर हो गया ओके नाउ लेट अस क्विकली लुक एट द क्रोनोलॉजिकल लिस्ट ऑफ द वर्क्स ऑफ होरिस वॉलपोल द फर्स्ट वन इज कैसल ऑफ ट्रांटो देन वी हैव मिस्टीरियस मदर एंड देन वी हैव हिस्टोरिक डाउट्स ऑन द लाइफ एंड रिंग ऑफ किंग रिचर्ड द थर्ड नाउ आउट ऑफ ऑल द थ्री द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन इज कैसल ऑफ ट्रांटो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्लॉट ऑफ इट नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी इज अबाउट अ प्रिंस हुज नेम इज मैनफ्रेड एंड ही इज डेस्परेट टू कीप हिज फैमिलीज पावर Now, after his son dies in a very strange accident, Manfred tries to marry his son's fiancée, whose name is Isabella. Now, why does he marry? Because he wants to have a son, who his uh, lineage can carry forward. Kar sake. But these things are not as simple as it is there. Kafi spooky ho jata hai, or uh, kafi sare supernatural elements, jo hai events hai, wo stuck hone lag jate hai castle ke andar. and the story is filled with gorgeous mysterious prophecies and dramatic twist making it the first true gothic novel kafi kafi interesting hai i remember back then when i read this novel for the first time i started reading it uh, late night and men socha tha main kuch pages pad ke i'm going to resume it next day but it was so interesting and i got so engrossed that i kept reading page after page and i couldn't put the book down सो so, ये तो आपको पढ़नी ही पढ़नी है जिसको भी सुपर नेचुरल गॉथिक पसंद है यू आर गोइंग टू लव द स्टोरी एंड इफ नॉट देन यू कैन वॉच अ मूवी और एन एनिमेटेड वीडियो दैट कैन समराइज द एंटायर स्टोरी बिकॉज यहाँ से काफी सारे क्वेश्चन यूजी सी नेट में आते हैं ओके सो नाउ लेट इज टॉक अबाउट एडगर एल एन पो द किंग ऑफ डार्क एंड स्पूकी स्टोरीज पो वॉज एन अमेरिकन राइटर एंड पोएट एंड ही इज नोन फॉर हिज क्रीपी टेल्स दैट डाइव इन टू द मिस्टीरियस एंड द मैकेपरा 
Now, one fun fact that most students do not know about Poe is that he is actually considered the inventor of the detective fiction. Yes, he is the one who created the classic who done it mystery novels that we so much love today. I would really uh, want to know who is your favorite detective character or the favorite detective story. Mine, hands down, is Sherlock Holmes. I could never see anybody solving mysteries in such a wonderful way. uh like homes and i really really love that character but apart from that i recently watched two other detective uh, series uh, which i really loved one is the mentalist which is there on amazon prime and uh, it has a character called patrick jane kafi kafi amazing si story hai. he solves those murder mysteries and kafi interesting hai second is lucifer which is also having a lot of references from paradise lost so it is actually about lucifer jo satan hota hai he comes to earth and he tries to help another detective to solve a few mysteries so wo bhi kafi interesting hai i think that is on netflix ek baar check kar lena so these are two of my favorites recent favorite but my all time favorite is sherlock holmes i would want to know who is your favorite detective uh, so far so please comment below uh, coming back to mr edgar allan poe so uh, Edgar Allan Poe married at the very young age, thirteen year old cousin है उसकी Virginia जिससे उसकी शादी होती है तो काफी एक अजीब सी चीज हमें यहाँ पे पता चलती है उनके life के बारे में कुछ unconventional सी चीज उन्होंने करी थी also uh, he throughout his life he struggled with poverty and alcoholism so alcohol addict थे Edgar Allan Poe and in spite of that he wrote some fantastic works. Uh, another uh, interesting fact about Poe is that he died in 1849 under really mysterious circumstances. No one know exactly क्या हुआ था, and there are so many theories that are still uh, there. They float around, but we still do not have a concrete evidence कि ये हुआ था. One of his most famous works made him very very rich, and just guess how much he might have earned from it. He earned just nine dollars, and at that time, nine dollars made him super rich. So you can just imagine how the value of money is increasing uh, every year. Now let us look at some important works of Edgar Allan Poe. So, uh, if we look at the chronological list that you should remember, uh, the first one is Raven, and then uh, we have a few other works that you can see on screen, and the last one is Letter to Mister B. Now, out of these seven works, the Two most important ones are Raven and Mask of Red Death. Let us understand these two words one by one very very quickly. So, if we talk about Raven, ki kare, it's a poem. It is about a man who is very very sad because he has lost someone, and uh, the name of that lady he has lost is Lenore. One night he was sitting alone, and a raven. Uh, raven, for those of you who do not know, is a black scary looking bird. That raven bird flies into his room and sits on a statue. Now this man starts talking to the bird, asking if he will ever be happy again or will see Lenore. But the bird only says one word, that is "never more." This makes the man feel even worse because he thinks that he will never be able to find peace. And if you read this poem in detail, you will see that the poem highlights the theme of mourning and the most important thing is. इन एस्केपेबिलिटी ऑफ डेथ कि डेथ को आप एस्केप करो ही कर ही नहीं पाओगे सो डेथ पे ना एडगर एलन पर काफी कुछ लिखते थे गौथिक में डेथ एलिमेंट भी कहीं ना कहीं मिक्सड होता ही है कि इवन इफ इट इज अ नॉर्मल गौथिक स्टोरी कहीं ना कहीं डेथ का रेफरेंस तो आएगा ही अनदर वर्क दैट ही इज वेरी वेरी फेमस फॉर इज मास्क ऑफ रेड डेथ नाउ इस स्टोरी में क्या होता है दर इज अ डेडली डिजीज दैट इज नोन एज रेड डेथ विच इज स्प्रेडिंग थ्रू आउट द लैंड killing people very very quickly yet painfully uh there is a prince whose name is prince prospero he is a very wealthy ruler and he locks himself and his friends inside a castle to avoid this plague theek hai now they throw a big masked party with music dancing rich decoration thinking that they are going to be safe because wo to castle ke andar hai but during the party a mysterious figure dressed like red death appears and as the figure moves through the rooms people realize that no one can escape death and everyone in the castle dies so again death kafi prominent dikh raha hai iske andar bhi so ye do important works hai jo aapko padhne hi chahiye if you are if you are looking to crack your gcse net exam 
now it is time to look at some previous year questions and uh, we are going to look at them one by one. Okay, now, so you have question number one displayed on your screen. Recall what we've just read uh, about Horace Walpole. His work, The Castle of Toronto, is credited with establishing the Gothic genre. Frankenstein, on the other hand, is written by Mary Shelley and Mysteries of Udolpho is written by Anne Radcliffe. And then we have The Monk, which is written by Matthew Lewis. So, friends, you can see you need to remember the names of the books written by different authors because UGC Net English asks direct questions about matching authors with their works. And if you want to score well, then you have to have this information on your fingertips. Now we have the next question. These lines that you can see in the question are from Paradise Lost and they are used as an epigraph for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Now, the lines are spoken by Adam in Paradise Lost where he questions God for creating him and then allowing him to face the struggles of life. Similarly, in Frankenstein, the creature is questioning Victor Frankenstein for creating him and then abandoning him to suffer in a world that rejects him. So, you can see friends here by looking at questions like these, you can understand that in-depth questions are asked from canonical works or most important works uh, in UGC net exams. So, make sure whenever you are covering a work like this, then you are digging deeper, you are going and reading the detailed plot and covering all the important details about the work. Okay. Now, there's another question that is there on your screen. Let me see if you can answer this on your own. If you know the right answer, then put that in the comments box below. Uh, another interesting thing that I would want to tell you that if you're looking for more PYQs on this topic, you can check out our exclusive mock test series that provides you with 3000 plus topic wise questions. Plus, after every test, you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the All India Leaderboard, which will help you to spot weak and strong areas. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.